Okay, so I've teamed up with my sponsor Polar to do two runs. They're going to be spaced four weeks apart and we're going to show you my training in between to try and improve my time from run one to run two. So the plan is today, it is Tuesday the 28th of July. I'm going to run this eight kilometre loop or roughly eight kilometre that I've planned out and then I'm going to train for four weeks specifically on a run block and then do the same run again and see how much I can improve. So you can follow along, you can follow today's run, my four weeks of training in between and then hopefully my next run in four weeks time which is going to be way faster, who knows? Okay, so I've teamed up with Polar as part of their Knowledge is Progress Challenge, which basically means how you can use data and technology to enhance your training and just get way more from it. You can sign up for the challenge online and then do your two different activities, space four weeks apart, and you have a chance to win some online vouchers for Polar's web store. So well worth getting involved, but let's go into my video and see how I got faster in four weeks, hopefully. Ready? Up. Okay, let's go. I wanna run away, wanna make mistakes now. Cause I, I don't wanna stay, wanna live my own life, wanna feel passion for some. Okay, so for my run, I have selected an eight kilometer loop that I often do runs on. When I'm preparing for Kona, I'll use the loop and I kind of do hard efforts on it. So I know the loop quite well. It is quite undulating and it is off-road as well. So it's not a fast eight kilometer loop. It is quite tough, but I like running on the trails because it's a bit softer. So I've opted for this loop. I'm gonna run on it eight kilometers, two laps and see how quick I can go. And then in four weeks time, I'm gonna repeat the process.
Okay, run number one completed. It came out at 8.13 kilometers and I ran it in 32.51. So pretty solid. I actually didn't expect to go that quick in this heat. So pretty happy with that. It's a pretty tough course. It actually starts off on a nice downhill. So you feel like you're running really quick and then it curves round and basically just starts wiggling and climbing all the way back. Some false flats in there as well and then some steep climbs to top it off. So it is quite a tough run and when you've got to do two laps of it you need to pace it pretty well and I felt like I built it quite nicely so I think that's going to be quite a tough time to beat so we've got four weeks of training to come back here and try and go quicker next time so yeah let's see if we can do it. My first key run workout to try and run faster on this particular loop was hill reps it's obviously got some elevation in the loop so it makes sense to do hill reps but I also find the benefit of doing this kind of session is that you really are able to build up that strength in the legs so it's a real strength endurance session I normally do 10 reps and it's about a two minute hill I'm trying to go as fast as I can on that so it is a bit more of that strength endurance while still building up the speed so it's a pretty tough session but it's actually one of my favorite run sessions of the week I would go down the track each week typically on a Tuesday for track Tuesday and I would go and do some one kilometer reps I did five of those reps and each week we just got a little bit faster so I was starting out around 320 per K and then building down to around the three minute per K towards the end of the four weeks so definitely building up that speed on that one my next session was my long run. Now, although 8K isn't that long, I like to build up my endurance just so I've got a really good base. So I do a weekly long run. At the moment with no Ironman racing for the foreseeable, for the long distance, my long run is up at 25 kilometers. So it's not super long, but it's still getting that endurance stimulus in there. I'm still working on kind of burning in that fat zone. So I'm not working too hard. So again, it's just gonna build up that endurance so I don't fade on the back end of my my eight kilometer effort even though it's relatively short for me okay so this is my running club the Orion Harriers and Epping Forest is where we do most of our training runs so the loop that we've done for this test run is one of my common runs I do it as my kind of test set run when I'm doing long runs for Kona so I know the course really really well which definitely helps on some of the turns and knowing how to pace the course but yeah these are a really cool club I love getting stuck in in the cross country with them some of the midweek leagues in the summer and some of their fell runs as well so they're a really awesome club and they've got about 700 runners as well. So a huge club in London and they definitely helped me get my long runs done and track sessions and all the key workouts when I can call upon some of their good runners to run with. Um, and then I also would do some treadmill intervals as well and I do these kind of at different lengths so obviously my one kilometer reps on the track are around three minutes so on the treadmill I'm doing some one minute much faster high intensity efforts on the treadmill just to get that turnover going high cadence in the leg and really get the control of my body at the highest speeds they're my actual key run sessions that I did leading into the second run but alongside that as well I also did some um, strength and conditioning focused around the run and some core stability as well so single leg work so that I'm not getting any imbalances lunges squats and um, things like plank and side plank just to keep everything in line and strong as I'm running so yeah that was basically how I did it and hopefully those key workouts are gonna have got me faster in just four weeks for the second run
Okay, so we're back here on my 8K run route. It's been exactly four weeks since I did the first run. I've done a really solid four weeks of training. Run focused, but obviously still doing my swim and bike training, getting some strength training in there as well. I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't rested for this, but I have had my pre-race breakfast and I'm gonna have some caffeine before this. I'm in the same shoes as last time. The weather is not as sunny, but it is very humid. So it is quite similar in terms of kind of the heat stress. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go and fingers crossed being faster than last time. Ready to go. Ready? Mm -hmm. k run done four weeks apart from the first one it definitely felt quicker i felt really really strong the braids were in today so i knew i had to go quicker than last time and looking at the splits on the way around they definitely were clocking up quicker so we'll have to wait and see till we get home we're going to look over the data and see how i get on but fingers crossed it was faster than last time yeah, it was really good to just test the legs over this. In terms of the data on this run, my heart rate was a little bit higher. It was around 157 beats per minute, so slightly higher there. And my power was 340 watts for the effort as well. So again, that was slightly higher, but obviously the um, terrain and the ascent was exactly the same on this run as the previous run. Okay, so the official time for my second run came out at 29 minutes and 53 seconds seconds which is averaging 345 per kilometer so I basically took about 17 seconds off per kilometer on this second run so it just goes to show what you can do in a period of four weeks and um, just by training smart using data and actually it doesn't need to be a silly crazy distance just set yourself a challenge so eight kilometers for me obviously isn't too far um, and see what you can do. Um, I definitely felt stronger. I felt much stronger going up all the climbs on the second run. Felt a lot more in control when I'm kind of off-road on different terrain. Um, there's actually some really cool things we can take from this. So in the first run, I burned 329 calories in comparison to the second run where I burned 318. So I actually burned slightly less calories on the faster run, probably because it was a little bit shorter. I didn't have time to burn as many calories. Um, and and then looking at kind of the percentage of those calories in terms of fat in the first run where I was obviously running a little bit longer I was using 25% of my fat calories 
and then on the second run it was 21% so a little bit less but I guess the slower you run the more you're going to be in your fat burning zone and the faster you run the more carbohydrates are going to be needed to run that quick so a really cool comparison there also polar gives you a cardio load and a muscle load so on the first run my cardio load was 65 and on the second run it was 69 so used a little bit more effort to go that quick and then the muscle load on the first run was 640 and then on the second one it was actually 610 so the muscle load had gone down and I'm not sure if that's because I've just got stronger so I'm able to put more force through each stride with less effort that kind of makes sense but yeah really interesting to compare the two different runs over the exact same course with very similar conditions yeah really happy with that and a pretty cool challenge so if you're up for doing it yourself I would definitely recommend getting out there and giving the knowledge is progress challenge a go. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see what else I've been up to in the last four weeks, then check out our previous video, which is my three favorite summer workouts. If you wanna watch that, then click here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Click here.